Multiple sclerosis is defined as an autoimmune disorder in which the immune system, which should be uh, targeting bacteria, uh, viruses, pathogens, uh, instead is misprogrammed to attack the myelin of the central nervous system. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the uh, nerve is also an innocent bystander and is injured. In terms of the pathophysiology, think of MS as having two components that are operating simultaneously at all times. One is inflammation and the other is uh, degeneration. Early in MS, the inflammation is the highest, but as we age, the degree of inflammation tends to diminish. Progression is going on at all times, degeneration is going on at all times, but um, it begins less and over the course of time uh, generally increases. So early MS, more inflammatory, less degenerative. Late MS, more degenerative, less inflammatory, but both um, simultaneously throughout the course of the disease. With respect to white matter and gray matter, uh, most of us, certainly most of us in my era, uh, were taught that MS was a white matter disease. Uh, we now know that it's a white matter and gray matter disease. And some of the most important aspects clinically about MS derive from the effect of inflammation uh, and degeneration uh, in the gray matter. Multiple sclerosis is a very heterogeneous condition in that people can experience different forms of MS from relapsing remitting to primary progressive and onset. And even within those types of MS, the experience can be that of a fairly bland or mild disease all the way through to a very aggressive disease, including at the extreme, uh, aggressive enough MS that can decrease life expectancy. The most aggressive forms of MS may be seen in one to 3% of patients. And similarly, uh, MS that had in the past been referred to as benign MS uh, is likely uh, something that is experienced by a very small proportion of patients, previously overestimated, but when we start looking at additional outcome measures beyond just physical disability or the ability to ambulate, we recognize that MS can substantially impact other domains like cognition, uh, upper extremity function, uh, vocation, uh, and, and socialization, and that these are uh, all important aspects of uh, MS uh, and its impact that should be considered as part of uh, the uh, appreciation of how aggressive or not the disease is.